Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to the vlog. Um, Jared and I are in the drive-thru at Starbucks right now, but I thought I would pull out the camera and say hi because I was already going to vlog today, but then we decided to run to the mall to pick up, well, we kind of decided this a couple days ago, <laughs> to pick up a laptop um, that we ordered online, and it was the closest one that had it, like um, the soonest was 40 minutes away. So we're going there right now to pick it up, and we have to obviously get coffee and matcha right now, but... Let's see, I'll show you what I got. Well, it's just a green tea ice latte, so it really doesn't matter. I got an iced pistachio latte. That looks good. Look at the little drizzles on the side. And then mine, they made it a really nice color, so I'm excited. Um, however, Starbucks sometimes has it chunky. I tried yesterday to make an iced latte. I got this new, um, oops. I got this new matcha powder from Goldie because I've never had like a good matcha powder um, and it was really good tasting but I need to get a new matcha whisk because I've been using my frother and it's not the same. Um, but anyway, uh, what was I saying? Oh, the only other matchas that I've tried are from Amazon and while they were good, they weren't like pure matcha because the ones I was using was were like little balls. It was like a it wasn't like a powder. I don't know. I think obviously I think it was real matcha, but it wasn't like high quality matcha. Um, but it tasted decent. So I'm pretty sure it's the one I think I read on the reviews. It's the one that Duncan used. <clears throat> Let's try the drink, shall we? Oh, it's so good. I, I do like Starbucks matcha. I read online like you don't like matcha if you like it from like a coffee shop or like not a coffee shop if you like it from Starbucks because it's just like really sweet. Um, but I like it so I, don't I also brought my doll because I thought I was gonna eat and I was like I don't know if I have to eat when I take my doll but I have cramps and so I was like you know um, I'd rather not have cramps while we're running errands. I'm wearing my yellow boots today and sweats. Yeah. Or we'd see a sweatsuit. That's literally what I'm wearing. Ghani boots. This jacket is from Newly, but I kind of think I want to buy it. Um, it's, what's the brand? Um, Fourth and Reckless. And then hat, Amazon. All that. Okay, we're about to go in now. Um, get my laptop! Thank you, sir. The fresh smell of Macy's. It smells clean. Right? It does actually smell clean, yeah. That's was, was kind of cute. Okay, anyway, we gotta go. Wait, look at that. Yeah. Are we in a rush? Sorry. One second. Cute. I haven't been to Macy's in a minute. All right, let's go. We secured the little literal bag. Now we're leaving the same doors. Oh God, wrong side. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> wow, blue lighting, but we got the bag. That was a quick trip, which is good because we really can't leave um, Puppy Boy too long. Anyway, sorry, someone was coming. Oh, hey. Would you be able to take an Instagram picture of me over here? Hey guys, um, I just got ready. I put on a sweatsuit. We're going to go to my in-laws house to hang out for a little bit tonight. I had to put my perfume on and so I wanted to thank the sponsor of today's vlog who is Dossier. You guys know I love working with Dossier. Um, today I'm wearing Woody Sandalwood and which is actually inspired by Santal 33 by Lee Labo and it smells so good. I never thought that I would be like a Santal kind of person or like a little wood scent but for some reason this one's really nice. It's not too smoky or anything um, and so I'm wearing this one today and if you don't know about Dossier already they are one of my favorite fragrance companies seriously like I have a collection essentially what dossier does is create scents that are inspired by some of your favorite scents that are very luxurious and pricey they make a scent that's inspired by that for a fraction of the cost so a lot of their perfumes I want to say they run from like 30 to 50 dollars which like for this one in specific um the Le Labo one I want to say is 200 maybe a little bit more for the depending on the size but like average 200 this one is 49 dollars it smells the exact same and I love it so much I love all of my dossier perfumes I've never gotten one that I really don't vibe with um but if you do end up getting one that you don't necessarily vibe with then you basically have 30 days from when you get it to decide um because you know sometimes either you don't like it when you smell it it's hard to buy fragrances online in my opinion for that reason but also it's like Sometimes even after you smell it in person um, and you take it home, it just like sits on your skin differently. Um, and so that's why I personally love that. And I think that's really important when you're finding like an online fragrance um, to have that option. And so then once you get it, you have 30 days to decide if you like it or not. Um, and then also I, what I personally always like to highlight is that Dossier does not just like throw away their perfumes whenever they get them back. They actually donate them. Um, I'll put all the information here, which again, I love because that's one of the big reasons I hate returning things because I don't know where they're going, but I like that I know um, what they do with the perfumes when they get them. If, like perfumes and clones are not your thing, 
Um, they have candles that smell so good, like designer again, fragrance inspired candles. The scent we're currently working through is inspired by Victor Rolf's Flower Bomb, and I love it. I never thought I would love it as much as I do in a candle, but it smells so good. Also on top of their fair pricing, in my opinion, um, I do have a discount code for you that I'll link everything down below, but you can use this code right here to get some money off of your purchase. I think it's a really great gift idea too. If they have, again, 30 days to return it if they don't necessarily like it, or I just think it's a great gift idea in general. So, but anyway, I, you know, I never really was into perfumes growing up. I kind of like had one that I always liked, but recently into my adulthood, I just love having the options of having different scents um, to try out and just kind of like mix the scents. I always like to like have two and then I put them on. Like with this one, I like to mix like a fruity one with it some days, depending on what I'm feeling like. Um, so yeah, anyway, thank you again to Dossier for sponsoring. I love you guys so much. And remember to use my code down below. I'll link everything that you need to know down below um, to check them out. And yeah, anyway. Oh shit, what did I drop? Hi guys, we're here on the couch reporting live. Um, an update on us and the pups. Here's Mr. Felix and Mr. Rex looking super big. He needs a good brushing because it's like really gross outside right now. It's like snow sleet ing, um, going to snow, kind of raining, and it's actually like so ugly out. I look outside, I'm just like, it's just gross and depressing out. It's not even like the weather, it's just like everything looks so gross. Like, it's like muddy snow. Errands this morning, got home. Um, I still haven't opened my new laptop. I've just saw my old one. I'll do that later probably with you guys, but um, as for right now, um, I'm just chilling, doing some work on that on the couch with them while Jared works downstairs. And I just thought I'd check in. I do want a coffee really bad. I might make one, maybe. Should we make a coffee? Hmm. That's a toughie. Uh, I've realized I'm like, I asked you guys on Instagram today, like for Starbucks coffee orders, because if you don't know ha, my Duncan story, I'm being very dramatic about it. I've been very dramatic about it everywhere. TikTok and Instagram um, that they got rid of hazelnut syrup or whatever, and that was like the only thing that I really liked from Duncan. Honestly, that was the only drink that I really liked in general. Starbucks I like, but I get it because it's just like convenient, um, and it's a little bit better than the coffee I can make at home. Otherwise, it's like I haven't found a drink at Starbucks other than like the pumpkin cream cold brews or like their holiday drinks that I really love, um, and their matcha. I do like their matcha. Otherwise, um, the only reason I go there is because I don't have anything good here. And then at Duncan, I was always super excited to go there because of their hazelnut ice lattes with an extra shot of espresso. It was so good. And now they don't have it. So anyway, I also some like Starbucks drinks. Sorry, I have like hair all over me. Um, and to see because still like at home, I don't know what it is. Sometimes I make a good latte, but it's like not consistent, you know? Felix really likes Billie Eilish lately. Sometimes when we leave, we put music on and he just like zones out to her, right? Anyway, also the lighting is terrible because of these lights in our kitchen. We still have never changed them. Obviously waiting and change them until we do the kitchen and stuff. But anyway, um, maybe I'll make a whipped coffee. Honestly, I've been trying to this like thing of, um, what is it called? Medit no, it's Greek instant coffee. One and a half scoops, sugar, water, and then I just hand froth it. I found this um, recipe actually by asking my like Google Home. I was like, how do I make a Greek frappe? And it told me. So look at that, how fluffy it gets. It's like mm, mascarpone, mascarpone, like key lime pie. Hey Google, what is that foamy dessert stuff that you light on fire? Presentation. No. Typically consistent. This pudding is usually coated in a brandy or cognac. Also found an answer to this question. What dish is served on fire? Do you want to hear it? Uh, no thank you. That didn't help me at all. Putting my milk in. Oh my god. What is on there? I'm gonna put my ice. And then I add... Oops, and then I add water to the top. There she is, and then I'm gonna stir it. Let's see. See that? No more ugly. At least I hope so. Oh, I can't even show you back here. Well, you guys always see the couch looks like that, but like I said, our house, oh, don't even look, don't look. It is so dark, and I think if I turn these on, it's gonna be too yellow. Sorry, it's dark, but you guys, I just got something in the mail. Sorry, this is like my 
we're in the dining room. This is where I keep all of my stuff that I'm wearing for the day, like my shoes and my bag and stuff. Um, anyway, so I got this in the mail and I didn't think to open it with you, but I want to show it to you. It's this vest. Can you see it? This Patagonia. I think it's called the Retro X fleece vest and I love it. Um, I wanted to do like the recent finds or things that I've bought, bought or been buying for spring and stuff. Um, but look at it, it's so cute. I love the color so much. Hold on, Rex. Here, hold on, let me just show you. And he's chewing out a big carrot. Good boy. If you also have a teething puppy, a carrot, not frozen because I think it gets a little too hard, but a frozen banana um, and a big old carrot that's refrigerated. Anyway, so this is it. I think it's super cute. I'm really excited to wear it. Like I said, it'll be featured in an upcoming of some kind of haul. I don't know how I'm going to do it yet, but we're going to see. And then I also got a package in the mail from Margo. We have a thrift swap coming. I don't know if this log is going to be before or after, but we have a thrift swap coming. Anyway. Oh. Guys, it's been a couple of days since I vlogged, but it's beautiful out today. It's like so bright and light and I just needed that and feel revived. I filmed a video earlier. Um, it's the weekend. I don't know when this vlog is going to go out, probably after my other things, but I have a couple of things that I wanted to show you that I picked up for spring. I'm like, you know what? I'll share them with you now until I do like a, what I bought for spring video. Some shopping because I'm really excited for spring and I just needed, I had a few gaps in my wardrobe, let's say. Eh, mm, eh, we'll just say that, yeah. I just in general, I just wanted to shop, okay? There's no excuse. Um, I also saw this thing. I, if you guys know, I talk about it all the time. I have dandruff. I have a very gross scalp. I saw on TikTok someone saying that they use, use glycolic acid from the ordinary. Um, and I bought this on Amazon because I didn't know they had the ordinary on Amazon and I didn't want to order it from Sephora because I'm building my card up on Sephora in time. <laughs> I can make my order. So anyway, um, I got this, oops, I got this to try out and hopefully it regulates something up there because I won't, I won't get too far into detail for your own sake, but it's just not happening. Um, we're not being good just not good right now but anyway a couple of pairs of shoes that i want to share with you to show you so first off i was looking for a new just basic white pair of sneakers and i've been really liking the forums i mentioned them in my the trend video and i just think that these are a pair of shoes that i'll love forever um i found them on stockx i want to say they were like 60 dollars. i got them for stockx changes day by day but Still, for like a nice cute little pair of sneakers, I think that that's so nice. Um, and I just love that. And then another thing, I don't think I've showed you guys this because I never made like a what I got for Christmas video or anything. Um, I was going to like style the things I got, but I didn't even, I haven't even mentioned this. Jared surprised me with a pair of shoes that I've been wanting. I've been talking to you guys about it on Instagram. Half of you guys are going to hate me for them. Half of you guys are going to get it and like them. Um, and some of you guys are just gonna be like, I don't get it, but whatever. But I like weird things. <laughs> and the tabbies. So I have here a Margella box, right? If you can see that, it's very simple. Oh, there you go. There you go. Now you can see it. Um, and he surprised me with a pair of tabbies. And I was so stoked. And so I have these for spring that I'm so excited to wear. Tabby loafers. I want to say they're from the men's section because um, Margella does not carry a lot of size 11s um or i'm like a 42 i want to say in your uh, euros uh europe i don't know um but size 11 in women's in usa and anyway so i found these and i'm like i don't care that they're from the men's section they're literally identical to the ones in the women's section and they're really comfortable these are a 43 they're just so perfect i'm going to have these forever i'm going to love these forever i always since the day i saw tabbies i've loved them and that was like probably in like my tumblr girl phase i want to say that's when i saw them first and people were wearing them not a lot and i am a little concerned like i have been thinking about it don't get me wrong like i as much as i love weird things i'm like i do live in the middle of nowhere in michigan and it's like if i when i wear them out i need i'm prepared to be stared at but i don't care at the same time i mean i do you know to an extent like i'm not like some indestructible human but um we'll deal with it because i love them that much and i wanted to show them to you i'm going to style them and you know what i feel like the loafer version i feel like 
they're good at, you can get away with things you know what i mean i think the loafers are a little bit more low-key than like the heels or different colors and i always see britney oh my god this uh, i can't think of her she's an influencer that i follow on instagram and on youtube and she's one of my favorites and she has like a few pair of tabbies i actually found her after i found these but it made give me so much comfort seeing someone with a very similar style or style that i like wearing them and I'm just really excited about them, okay? I don't know. But anyway, and then I also have a few things. Friend Olivia on Instagram, she sent me over a few things from her shop. It's called OD Handmade. I'll link it down below. Um, if you guys are looking for like good handmade things that are like super cute, but also really, really high quality, um, I highly recommend. But I wanted to show you some things that she sent over. I'm making an order also for a few more masks because I love these masks. They fit so nicely. How well made it is. If you can see like the edges, I don't know. Anyway. This is it, and I just think it's like so perfect. It feels really nice, and it's very lightweight. And then she also sent over um, a couple of hair ties, but one is in my purse downstairs, but this is the other one, which is so freaking cute. I'll wear this all uh, year long. I just like scrunchies. I think they're so cute. Whenever I hear, like I'm wearing, I'm not wearing one right now. I actually probably could be wearing this, uh, but it's like, look at how much cuter it makes. It just makes your bun cuter. And she also sent over a little keychain, which I love because look at it, it's like this quilt looking fabric but i just want to share those really quick thank you again olivia i love you um she's so sweet you guys really really need to check out her shop um and then i also have this thing that i wanted to show you i got it the same day this company Silvercut reached out to me and they make these custom necklaces for your pets and i'm so excited about this and i feel like you guys are going to get it you know, like pet moms, I don't know. People look at me like I'm psycho. Like, I think even my mom is like, okay, like, I love my dogs, but, like, I don't want to wear them all over my body. And I do. I don't know. I'm weird. I'm obsessive. Please look at this necklace, you guys. Do you see? Do you see a familiar little face on here? Yes! It's my little baby. It's Felix. I sent in a picture and they made this, and then it says my bestie Felix. Um, I got to pick what was put on it and i'll link it down below i think i have a coupon code i think with like father's day and mother's day coming up i think that's really nice i think i'm gonna get one for jared for father's day because like he's a pet dad you know and um i think i'm gonna get franklin because franklin is like obsessed with him oh wait you know what um I'm talking a lot right now, but I'm on my period, you guys. And I was at Target yesterday, and I found these period underwear, and they were only $17, which was a lot better than a lot of them that I've found before. And they're by Thinks, and I don't know if this, I don't, I didn't know that they sold them at Target, but um, I picked up two pair, and I've been loving them. Um, I wore them overnight, and like no leaks, nothing, and I literally am obsessed. <laughs> I was just gonna say the um the Mean Girl quote. <laughs> You know, like the wide seven nine and a heavy flow thing but i do have a heavy flow I'm trying to find things to make period life easier and i thought i'd mention that if you're looking into period underwear and looking for an affordable um pair highly recommend the thinks ones from target um and yeah so i want to go open up my laptop you know this is my outfit my uh, as an outfit my north face sherpa thing i just think that this north face is my best purchase of this year so often it's just so comfortable and cozy anyway i think that i want to go open my laptop still have not opened the blinds there we go here's my laptop we're gonna open that in a few but um i also <laughs> told you guys i've been doing so much shopping literally I just got these in the mail um they're from ebay and they're just like these vintage leather gloves and i liked the color a lot i just think they're cute okay we're setting up my new little macbook pro this is how it looks. She's pretty sexy. I think she's like the 14 incher, I want to say. Um, I don't know. Um, all I know is I haven't had a new MacBook. Well, I've only had one MacBook before. That's the one I still currently have. Um, and I got it in 2015 when I graduated high school. I bought that to go into college with my graduation money. Um, and then I used it for one year in college, dropped out of college, and then I just used it for personal. Um, and it's lasted as long as still works and everything. Um, it just is like very, very slow and can't handle Final Cut Pro, which is what I edit my videos on. So I decided it's time to do this. Um, like I said, I've been working on that laptop though, like, um, every day still, and it's fine. It's like, and I'm gonna keep it for like the podcast and stuff. Look how pretty she looks. She's cute. What is this color called? Uh, space gray. Space gray. Ooh, lots of packages. Jerry just went out to the, um, are they all for me? Uh, yeah. One's the Amazon too. What is this? Let's see. An unboxing. Unprompt to. I was just showing them all this stuff. I said I've clearly been in a shopping mood. The B. Oh, 
Oh, these are for us, Jared. I got us matching shirts. Ooh. For like a good graphic shirt and I cannot oh. thrift one. Is that too small? I can't tell. They look kind of small, huh? On like an Instagram ad and I really liked it. It's from Everpress. And I think it's like independent artists. They can upload their own like designs. Al dente. Oh my um, gosh, that's awesome. Consume your, your pasta lovers and responsibly. Oh, <laughs> consume your pasta and lovers responsibly. Maybe that's what it means. Anyway, I just like the design. I wanted stuff to wear under blazers. I was looking for like shirts to wear under blazers. You know, Amazon. What's that thing from? Let's see. Ooh la la. Paint. So you guys know how I've been looking for silver jeans. You might you might be calling me crazy right now, but you no. Know, when I get crafty, this is not a good sign, you guys. I can't find silver jeans anywhere, so I was like, you know, maybe I can just paint my own. We're gonna see. I don't know. I don't know what this is. What else did I order on Poshmark? Anything? That's so funny. These are my, um, I found these on Poshmark. These were a Poshmark find. And I've been wanting striped pants and I found these red and white striped ones. They're the exact same as the white ones you got me. Mm -hmm. And then, but they're like the stripes. Wow. Look at you guys, I'm so excited for these. They're by Big Bud Press, which um, I talked about in the video I filmed today. But they're just like a really good size inclusive. They have really a lot of great products, pants, jumpsuits, all of that kind of stuff. But I loved the red and white stripe and I don't think they sell them on their site anymore. Um, so I found them on Poshmark randomly in my size and I was like, I think that's a sign that I need them. Okay, I promise no more hauls in this video. I mean, except for when I watch vlogs, I love to watch hauls. That is my guilty pleasure. I don't care what it is. Even for some reason, grocery hauls I love. But anyway. My little tough boy. You're sleepy? Are you so sleepy? Oh, okay. Thank you. Can we close the peanut gallery? Okay, we're going out to shoot some pictures for Instagram. Because this is the look. A blues. We're in shades of blue. I figured these sunglasses rather than my Vela ones because they have the blue in them. I don't know. I, I should have worn my blue Yeezy coat. You could oh be God. A blue liter berry. Wait, that actually could be a look. Wait, the blue Yeezy coat uh, with these and then the and pants. The pants. I kind of actually, I could work. Let me see, I wanna show how many. Okay, we just went and did it. This is literally, oh, nope, those are old. Hold on. Um, this is literally what we get. We'll see which ones end up. We gonna party like it's 